welcome to today's class. For today, we're looking at um, an application of another application of mathematical induction, which includes the proof of divisibility and multiple using mathematical induction. So we start with a question on proving divisibility, and then we look at another question on proving multiple. And here it's done. And the steps involved in this. The first one says, assume a term Cn and equates to the given function. Number two, find T1 and C if it fits um, the given condition. Find T1 and C if it fits the given condition. That's number two. Number three says, find T subscript K. Um, that is, put N as equal to K. Fourth one says, find T K plus one. That is, put N as equal to K plus one. Fifth one says, find the value of T subscript K plus one minus T subscript K and C if it fits the condition given. All right, so these are like the steps for this. Uh, this one says prove. So we use the five steps here. Yeah? Step one says prove using mathematical induction that for all positive integers of n, that a to power n plus six is divisible by seven. When a number is divisible by another number, it means they can. Uh, it means that number can be divided by. The other number without remainder. For instance, 6 is divisible by 2. That will give you 3. Now, 5 in this case is not considered divisible because if I divide 5 by 2, I'll have 2 and a half of the halves. 2.5. So we don't consider 5 as being divisible. So if you say that 6 is divisible by 2, it means 6 can be divided by 2 to have a whole number without a remainder. So let's use that condition for this. What do we have? Alright, so solution. Step 1 says, step 1 says, uh, let Cn be equal to this, that's a to the power n plus 6. That's a step 1. Step 2 says, put n as 1 into this and see if it is divisible by what is here, which is 7. So let's see t1, put n, or let's say let n equal to 1, let n equal to 1. I have t substitute 1 is equal to a to the power 1 plus 6. That's equal to a to the power 1 is 8 plus 6. And that's equal to 14. Of course. 14 is divisible by 7 because 14 over 7 is equal to 2. So the first condition has been met. So it's divisible by 7. Next, we said put uh, n. Next up, let n be equal to k. What do I have here? t substitute k is equal to a to the power k plus 6. So I have this. For this one here, we have this. Um, next up, we said let n let n be equal to k plus one. So it's similar to the basic induction and induction, similar to it. Let k be equal to n, let n be equal to k plus one. It means that c k plus one is equal to eight into power k plus one plus 6. So I have it. Let's simplify this using the idea of indices. Indices say if I have a to the power n plus n, this is equal to a to the power n times a to the power n. If this is true, that means t to the power k plus 1 is equal to 8 into k or 8k times a to the power 1. Okay? Right? So this to this times this to this. Alright, so plus 6. From here, c substitute k plus 1 is equal to a to the power k into a to the power 1 is 8 plus 6. 
this is equal to this multiplying this gives you 8 into 8k plus 6. It's correct. 8 times 8k, that's this, plus 6. Observe I use bracket. I did not write 8 times 8k so that you don't assume this as 88k. So to separate between 88k and 8 times 8k, I place this in the brackets. So you can see the difference here. Alright, final step says find t k plus 1 minus t k and see if it fits the condition. If it does, then it is divisible. If it does not, then it is not divisible. So let's see. Ck plus 1 is this one here. That's 8 into 8k plus 6 minus t substitute k. That's this one here. That gives you 8k plus 6. So we have this one here. Or better still, this in brackets. Alright. So we have this. Expanding this, we have 8 into 8k plus 6 minus this minus 8 to power k minus plus is minus 6. So I have this. So plus 6 minus 6 cancels out. I'm having 8 into 8k minus 8k. These two can be subtracted. Uh, have been subtracted. It's just like saying, okay, let me help you figure this better. You can, okay, just like saying, uh, let's say a to the power k is a. This will become 8, let's call this a, a minus a to the power is a. So a. This is not you, 8a minus a, that's 7a. I have this. With this same concept, let's work on this. So the same idea, 8 to 8 multiplying 8 to the power k minus 8 to the power k gives you 7 into 8 to the power k. I have this. So this is the same thing. Alright? To make you understand better, assume 8 to the power k to be a becomes 8a minus a. That will give you 7a. Same concept here. This value here, is it divisible by 7? Yes. Because I have 7 multiplying 8 to the power k. Divide this by 7, this can cancel this, leaving you towards 8 to the power k. So therefore, 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 8 to the power n plus 6 is divisible by 7. Alright, so this is how you solve this problem. Let's now look at the problem on uh, multiple. How to prove multiples using mathematical induction. Um, we'll still follow the same five step process, but for this one here, so let's explain what a multiple is. So we can say that 12 is a multiple of 4 because 12 is equal to 4 times 3. Alright, that means if I multiply 4 with something, I can get 12. So 12 becomes a multiple of 3. We can still say that 12 is a multiple of 2 because 2 times 6 will give you 12. So the idea of something being a multiple of the other one is that that thing should be able to multiply another whole number to give it that number. That's the concept of the multiple. Alright, let's work on this. So solution. Our first step says let Tn be equal to uh, a given function there. Huh? 2n plus 1 plus 1. I have this. Step 2. Let n, this is step, be equal to 1. So I have T base 1 is equal to 7 into 2n becomes 2 becomes 2 n, that's times 1, plus 1, then plus 1. 
So I have that C1 is equal to 7 into 2 times 1, 2 plus 1, 3, then plus 1. So C1 is equal to 7 over 3 is 3, 4, 3 plus 1. That's equal to 3, 4, 4. Is 3, 4, 4 a multiple of 8? Yes, because 3, 4, 4 is equal to 8 times uh, 43. So 8 times 43 gives you 3, 4, 4. So therefore, 3, 4, 4 is a multiple of uh, 8. So the first condition has been met. Second condition we say let n be equal to k. If n is k, what do I have n? It means that t n becomes k is equal to 7 into 2n is k plus 1, then plus 1. Next up, get n or let n let n be equal to k plus 1. So what do I get there? C into n k plus 1 is equal to 7 into 2n becomes 2 into n is k plus 1, then plus 1, so plus 1. 2n, n is k plus 1, then plus 1 before the plus 1. So plus 1 and then plus 1. This gives you, if I expand this, this gives you t k plus 1 is equal to 7 into 2. 2 times k is 2k plus 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. So 3 plus 1. So I have this. Alright, this is true. That means this becomes t k plus 1 is equal to, from the idea of indices, this becomes 7 into 2k multiplying this 7 over 3. So we explain this with, with the explicit part, right? This is this, then 7 to 3. This and the same thing, plus 1. So I have 1. 7 to part 3 is uh, 3, 4, 3. So I have this is equal to this is equal to plus 1 is equal to 7 to part 2k into 3, 4, 3, plus 1. So I have this. So this gives you t into k plus 1 to be equal to 3, 4, 3, 3, 4, 3 into 7 to bar 2k plus 1. So I have this. So this is what I get from um, my work. Okay. And this is Tk plus 1. If I simplify this one, this will be equal to, let me simplify this one here, the same space. Uh, this is plus 1, so plus 1 will be equal to 7 into 2k multiplied plus 1. That's 7 to the power 1, and then plus 1, right? 7 by 2k times 7 by 1, which is this. If I switch this to 7 by 1 is 7. So if I switch these two positions, I'm adding 7 multiplying 7 by 2k. Alright. So this gives you 7 multiplying 7 by 2k plus 1. Alright. So our final step is to find tk plus 1 minus tk. tk plus 1 is this. That gives you 3, 4, 3 into 7 to the power 2k plus 1 minus this one here. Yeah? That's 7 into 7 to the power 2k plus 1. I have this. Subtracting, I have this as 3, 4, 3, uh, 7 to the power 2k plus 1. Minus to this gives you minus 7 multiplying 7 to the power 2k minus times plus is minus, of course, 1. From here, plus 1 minus 1 cancels out. I'm left with 
थ्री फोर थ्री इंटू सेवन टू का टू के माइनस सेवन इंटू सेवन टू का टू के ऑफ कोर्स सेवन टू का टू के सेवन टू का टू के या लाइक दैट सो हेंस वी कैन सब्सट्रैक्ट दिस डिवाइस सो थ्री फोर थ्री माइनस सो थ्री फोर थ्री माइनस सेवन गिव्स यू थ्री थ्री सिक्स Into this two gives you seven to bar two k. All right. This two are the same thing. Bring them down here. Yeah? Three four three minus seven gives you three three six. Now, is this a multiple of eight? Um, so let's see. Uh, we have three three six all into seven to bar two k. But we know that three three six. Is equal to eight times forty-two. That's eight times forty-two. So we have this. So therefore, it means that three three six into seven to the two k will be equal to eight times forty-two into seven to the two k. So this shows that my final answer is a multiple of. Uh, Of this, so therefore, in conclusion, therefore, seven to the two n plus one plus one is a multiple. Or let's use the grammar: is an integer multiple. Is an integer multiple of eight. All right. So this is the. Solution to the problem. So this becomes the answer to this problem. So this is how you prove this work.